Hello everyone, so welcome back to the React Hook form series and today we'll be solving another problem which is based on the long forms. If you're using a long form and somewhere uh, when it's a form a very lengthy and you scroll down to the submit button and then when you try to submit and if uh, the error is not in the visible screen so you don't uh, know whether the where the error has occurred and so to solve that problem, we'll just try to focus on that particular field by scrolling it to the top or wherever it is, right? So we'll be using the set focus function of the use form here. If you will go through it, it's just a set focus and the, it will take the particular name of the input box so that it, can, it could target to the particular input and just uh, blink the cursor there directly right and we'll also need the reduce function from the array dot reduce function so if you're not aware of the reduce i'll just show you how it works so okay we can go to the program with so let's just uh, read about the array dot reduce function here and i've used the program with that my instructor here okay so first of all we should so the, uh, see the syntax here array dot reduce it's a takes a callback function which uh, the first argument is the accumulator and the second is the current value and the last argument for the reduce function is a reduce method is initial value whichever uh, we need to provide it uh, so let's see this. let's see the reduce parameters here so first one is the callback and it says that the function execute on each array element except the first element if no initial value is provided it takes accumulator it accumulates the callback return values current value the current element being passed from the array initial value optional a value that will be passed to the callback so let's just take this and uh, let's just run this code so they have used two functions here the first uh, the both are doing the same work just the syntax is different you can say that here is using a function first and then uh, calling inside the reduce method and in the second one is actually calling the reduce function uh, in which is the, uh, he has given all the accumulator and current value thing so I'll just remove this second one. I'll use this uh, for the example. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, the numbers are, and the second one is the sum reducer has been calling the reduce function. Now, since there's no initial value passed on this, now what reduce will do is, it will take one as the accumulator here. And since no initial values present so and one is given to the accumulator now the current value will automatically begin from two because it needs to uh, it needs to calculate or whatever means you want to do it will just take a uh, two argument so it, it needs two argument so this is why the first one goes as an accumulator here and now since it is already given now it will automatically take a uh, second as the current value you can just log in here and check that okay so this is not obvious code console.log i'll just copy this both as it is and let's run this again so as you can see the first one one is the accumulator here and the current value is the second one got it now suppose we have given some initial value suppose we have given zero as the initial value right now the first time the accumulator must be zero because the initial value is passed as an accumulator first and the current value will be the first term of the array okay we should run that and now see the accumulator is zero and one is the current value so this is how reduce function works and let's jump back to the vs code again and so I have written a use effect here and on each error logs suppose error is something which we get from the form state here 
and you can just check the errors with the console whatever it is it uh, it is logged so in the use effect the dependence array we have passed errors and now we have the set focus function which is also provided by the use form and set focus help us to focus to the particular element in the hook form which we need to uh, focus right so you don't have to manually uh, pass the focus true in on everyone it will directly access to that element with the ref which we have passed here so this ref if you want to pass the ref you can get the field ref field dot ref directly here so you can do it like this field dot ref now going back this part uh, i was in the dynamic user okay so let's just continue with the errors part now we need the errors as the primary dependency because on e a change of this only we can locate to the particular uh, input field because when we'll submit the form the all the errors will be uh, added in this error object and once this error object changes we can just call that function which will focus on that particular element of the top right and set focus is the second dependency because without set focus we cannot focus so we will definitely need it to be in the uh, initial after initialization so let's just begin i'll just quickly write the function which we need here so i just copy it here and paste it down here so what i've done is i'll i've just used object dot keys object dot keys uh, will convert this error object into array let's me just show you the errors first so that you don't miss this thing it is an error but it is empty so let me submit now you can see this is an object and it has an email name and password and email name and password are the keys which we'll need to uh, focus on right so what i've done if you will see this i'll just even show you this what happens when we do this see now the object what object dot keys does is it uh, just converts the object and take each key of the object and convert it into array so this is how object dot keys work uh even we do check the object dot keys dot length to check the length of the object sometimes so it's very much handy you should definitely try that so let's focus on next uh, the object dot keys here yeah. so now we have the array and now we can use the reduce function here even you can use an optional chaining here so object dot keys of errors uh reduce now the accumulator and the current value the arguments from the reduce now next what we are doing is and we have passed null as the initial value here so that when there is no uh, means there is no errors we can directly uh, jump out of this i will show you that definitely i show you that so see if errors an accumulator on the first time when there is it is null accumulator so the first the uh, not is the normal logical sent uh, the sent what it calls uh, just this is the not operator right and the when we are using two not operators first checks the is it the not or not uh, that uh, i'm getting stuck here i'm very sorry but the main purpose of the two nots are that it gives us the boolean value whether this value exists or not so this is how it works the first one is for the simple not check uh, sometimes we even do that if not equal to error something like this to check if a uh, the errors object exist or not and the second not uh, just gives us the boolean value for that so the purpose of two not is that and now we have an accumulator so what i'm trying to say 
if ss.accumulator exists if true then the accumulator will uh, return it will return the accumulator or else it will return the current value so if you can go here so first time it's null so it will just take the current value if you can log in here just bring that down and just let me do this so see the first time it's null so it will just return the name as you can see if no nothing exists means if uh, s dot accumulator is uh, true if it exists then accumulator else it will return the current value so first time it retain uh, return the name so next time that like, every time it will go through that and we have just one thing to do here uh, we'll need one more thing here object i'll just to add that thing give me one second so even let's bring it down here just let me solve this so see name so you can uh, even go through this very easily suppose you have their number of error uh, their name email and password there are three errors and you know name exists at first so you can directly put uh, use that name uh, the array zero index and you will get that name is the first error which we need to focus on and that's what i'm trying to do here is i'm just using that key and passing the set focus here so now set fo what set focus will do it will take the name and find the input with the name ref and it will just focus on that so let's just try this here now we don't have errors and the input box is above our navbar we cannot see it and we, when we try to submit it will just focus on that so this is what we were trying to do and it is working and you can definitely ignore this part you can do one more thing here yes. but uh, reduce was a part which i wanted to so let's just let error array is equal to and now if error dot length you can do one more thing is yes. you can just return from here and you can just pass not equal to here so i'm uh, here i'm trying to do is if error dot length doesn't exist just return from here means if it is zero return it no need to proceed further we can just comment it down here for now now and if it exists then const first error is equal to error array zero now let's try again this should work yeah this is working so now our main thing was here i'll just console it once again if uh, log dot console so our main concept here is first of all find the all the errors suppose we have errors in three input name email and password so first of all we'll take the name or means we'll take the first index of the array and focus on that that's all we are trying to do suppose, suppose now we have written some username and again we when we try to submit now we have focused on email because now email is at uh, index 0 and we need to focus on the zero index that's all we were trying to do so hope you got some information in the video and now you know how to focus on the input boxes which have errors and please like and subscribe the video and please share the video as i can see there is merely any 
watching going on my channel and we definitely need to grow to get some more information from me thank you guys see you in the next video